What is up everybody and welcome to a new video, a video I am so excited to be making for you. Today we are going to be looking at step by step how a Pagani is built. We are at the factory here in Modena, the heart of automobile history right here and we are going to be looking step by step at how these beautiful hypercars come together. Now this is their new facility which has been open for a couple of years and is absolutely gorgeous. Now originally they were based in a building just a few minutes down the road where Pagani was started. The story of Pagani was started back in the mid 90s. Now Horatio Pagani, fascinating guy who has always been bitten by the car bug and built his first Formula 2 car at the age of 19. So Pagani starting up, no big deal. Now step by step, obviously Pagani has always been a huge player in the carbon fiber battle with uh, Horatio Pagani himself wanting to implement and successfully implementing carbon fiber body panels at Lamborghini back when he was working there and eventually buying his own autoclave. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. First step I want to talk about is the production of carbon. So the production of carbon is started in a room here upstairs where the workers here, so there's a team of 160 people. Now the workers here start by just hand placing the carbon fiber, multiple layers of carbon fiber, um, one by one on top of each other. And in there, putting some soundproofing in as well so that the car is usable, but also very light and very strong. Now from there, it goes straight to an autoclave, an oven effectively. I now find myself in said oven, so this is an autoclave. Now this heats up to 140 degrees and six bars of pressure in order to make the molds that you need to form the carbon fiber. Now it is absolutely boiling here, but an autoclave is actually a relevant story when it comes to Pagani because Mr. Pagani, Horatio Pagani, used to work for Lamborghini and really had a vision for carbon fiber and where it was going as uh, something for the automobile industry. Now, Lamborghini did not have the same vision as him and he was working there, so what he decided to do is buy out of his own money an autoclave, a smaller one, which is that one right there. It's since been repainted, but he bought out of his own money an autoclave, started making carbon fiber, and now is one of the leaders in the industry in terms of carbon fiber production. As you can, you can tell as well, they have upgraded from that autoclave to these massive ones right here. And now they're making 45 cars a year with his own name on it. So that's an inspirational story. I mean, he came here on a bike with a tent and his wife, and he had nothing else, and now Look at what he's built. They refine all of the little imperfections that may be on the different parts of carbon fiber. So they have you know, different sections. They'll have the hood, they'll have the rear clamshell, they'll have all of these different parts and they'll just refine little imperfections in the carbon. So once it comes out and all the imperfections have been squeezed out, this is what you end up with. So this is the piece we saw earlier in the uh, carbon fiber shop up there. Then putting the sound insulation and all the different layers of carbon fiber. So this is many, many, many layers of carbon, sound insulation, everything included in there. And you end up with this huge rear engine cover. And it's really cool to see imperfections out. Of course, there's still little things that you always need to change, but this is where the car starts taking shape. So the coolest thing has been being able to follow one piece uh, from the carbon shop up there down to buffing out the imperfections through to the final product here, ready to be put on a car. Now you can see that it's had this layer of lacquer over it, so it's perfectly shiny. Now the, the painting process can take up to four weeks on uh, these to have colored carbon fiber, uh, exposed colored carbon fiber. Uh, and the beautiful thing is, I don't know if you come in close, I'm not sure how it will come off on camera, there's this fishbone structure they call it, where every single little weave of carbon fiber is symmetrical and it all lines up perfectly from one piece to the other and there's no other car no other brand nothing that i've ever seen that comes close to this level of standard and it's just beautiful and it shows that devil is in the detail and that is what pagani really stands for so so cool to see the different steps that this has gone through to come to this final beautiful product and it makes you just appreciate the work that's gone into every single piece of a pagani so what we're gonna see here, so a Pagani, really interestingly, um, is actually built in three parts which can all separate. So you've got the engine in the back, you've got this middle section here which is built of carbotanium, the monocoque, and then you've got the front here. And they're all linked by these bolts. Uh, and what we're about to see now, and what you'll probably be watching right now, is the front being married to uh, the middle section right there. And so that happens at the back as well, and then it makes it so that if the car is ever involved in a car crash, all three of those pieces can separate quickly so that uh, there's the least inertia in an accident, but also you know, not too much damage done to, to a lot of the car. And I can hear something very nice. There you go. Uh, so, what are you doing? 
I, I'm, you know what this is? It's a perfect transition because we were just talking about carbotanium, weren't we, in the central shell? Now, this is really interesting. So we got, so the different rigidity through the carbotanium is attainable. So for example, this is the roads to BC and they've made it so much more rigid uh, than before. So same weight right here. And you can see how much more this is bending. This is still carbotanium than the carbotanium used on the roads to BC, which is just so much more solid and actually costs four and a half times more. Um, but means that the whole car is more rigid, more track ready, and these are the sorts of things that you would never really know unless you came and did a factory visit like this, but it's fascinating. Right, this is really cool to see now. All three sections have been attached, and as you can see, we can see the engine back there. Now, we haven't touched on that yet, but it is a V12 twin turbo, 764 horsepower, which is massive considering that this car weighs 1,280 kilos, which is actually 70 kilos lighter than the coupe. When have you ever heard of a roadster version of a car being lighter than the coupe? So that is a massive first, super interesting from Pagani. And there are little details that come here. Look at this little roadster engraved on this section right here, which is gonna get covered. I mean, there's gonna literally be an engine cover on there, but that is what Pagani is all about. I mean, look at this, these arms here, suspension arms here. Beautiful, and one we've been talking about is even this, just to raise the uh, engine cover. It's just a beautiful piece of engineering. So yeah, I mean, it, you have to see one almost naked, uh, as we're doing now, to really uh, see the value in, in, in what it has to offer. And this engine, I mean, over, you know, 1,000 newton meters of torque, is just an absolute animal. Uh, so yeah, really, really cool to see now all the pieces have come together and then the pieces, you know, the covers, the engine cover and everything that we saw being built earlier are gonna be laid on top of this, spec done, car's good to go. So fascinating to see all the pieces coming together. What's beautiful, and I know I keep hanging on about it, are the details in a Pagani. So for example, I'm holding the gear knob here, the gear shifter. Um, and it is just, I mean, that is a work of art in itself. Single clutch gearbox, seven speed. Uh, look, I mean, even just the Pagani logo that's engraved on the side here. Everything has been, you know what they say, you know, always plug. That's what Pagani's doing effectively. Um, always got a logo. I mean, look at this. This is the dash right here. Absolutely gorgeous as well. And you can actually change the colors of the dash so that at nighttime you can have it in a mixture of different colors. A little bit more of the gearbox as well, gearbox mechanism or gear shifter mechanism like that, which is just gorgeous. And then, look, down here, for example, we've got this. Now, you've maybe seen this online before. I know I, I, I first heard about this online, but the actual logos that get stuck on the back of the car, so in this case, the Huario BC logo, are drilled out of a solid piece of aluminium. So this is one piece of aluminium, all tied up. So here's what it came from originally right here. You can see that the logo was originally there and then boom, cut out of there, one solid piece. There it is. You've got all of these beautiful Pagani logos as well, um, which are just stunning. You can have them finished in chrome or in black. And yeah, that's what makes the interior of the car so damn special. Now we find ourselves in a very exciting point of the build of your Pagani Huario Roadster. So this is the final inspection. So this is where, under loads of lights, uh, the guys here at the factory can uh, see if there's any tiny final imperfections on the car or anything that they need to buff out before it goes to the owner. And yeah, this is basically the last step. And it's fascinating to see all the little pieces we've seen come together one by one to get to this result. And there is going to be a very happy owner very soon. Also, by the way, the reason we're filming just my face is because obviously these are customer cars and we don't want to show off too much of their spec because I think they should probably be the first person to see their car fully, not us. So it's only appropriate to end this tour of the Pagani factory with a completed car. Now, first of all, I just want to say a massive thanks to everyone here at Pagani who have been so hospitable to us and shown us around magnificently, but we're ending with a very special car. So this is actually owned by a friend we're going to put his Instagram down below and pop up tag here. Beautiful car, beautiful spec, and this is a BC. Now, a little fun fact, if you've always wondered what BC stands for, it stands for Benny Cayola. I believe I've said that the right way, um, but it's the name of the first customer of Pagani. You know, he was obviously very close with Mr. Pagani, and uh, in the end, he ended up naming this special edition, very limited car, after him. So this is a hardcore version of the Huaria Coupe. This is 
gorgeous and here we can see everything we've spoken about today has come to life and this is the final product so all of the different molds on the car uh, this is in the exposed carbon which has obviously got the lacquer on it underneath we know what's going on there now in terms of the engine and how everything was just put together so we got the front piece the carbotanium monocoque and the rear piece of the car the doors all of the interior details and it all comes together to give this beautiful final finish i mean i'm gonna hop inside I mean, this is just another level. So everything you saw, so the dashboard, for example, the gear lever right here, uh, all of the buttons on the steering wheel uh, in the little parts bit that we, we just saw there um, ha is on this car. The interior is finished in, in uh, matte carbon fiber and it is just an absolute stunner. So what a brilliant way to end what has been an absolutely fantastic day. And I hope this has given you some insight into what I personally think the best and most exclusive car maker in the world uh, is doing and how they're making these incredible cars. Um, so I'm gonna hop out with you now just to say a massive thank you. Obviously, this is a dream come true for me, a little nostalgic story. When I was 12 years old, 11, 12 years old, I was driving around Italy with my father and we came to visit and do the factory tour um, as you still can in the Pagani factory together and that is honestly the moment that I really really got the car bug and from then onwards I've always been working uh, or you know aspiring to work in the automobile industry so it's a very special place for me and it's just been an absolute honor to be able to have a proper little poke around and show it show it to you guys and share it with you guys everything that's going on here at Pagani so yes Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cole, have you enjoyed your day? This has been spectacular. I spectacular. think I've now relived that bug thing. Yeah, you've now it's got just, the car yeah, bug, right? Yeah. This place is infectious. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you did, and I will see you again very soon. Cheers and bye-bye.